guys, let's take a quick look here at uh, Portal. Uh, as you re maybe remember, I did buy Portal uh, a couple months ago. Uh, I'm not sure the price. I think it was somewhere around 40 cents or so. Uh, but yeah, I am down on this trade. But anyways, guys, it doesn't really matter. Uh, all will work out in the end, I'm sure. Uh, but anyways, let's talk about this. So you can see that Portal has been making, you know, a little bit higher lows each time, basically, uh, it's gone up here. Now, this, these are very, very, very slight higher lows. Now, this is almost like a double bottom uh, here where you have this low here and this low here. Uh, but, it, you know, this wick over here did catch the bottom side of these two candles. So we can probably say this is a double bottom. Uh, it almost became a triple bottom uh, with this, you know, these candles here. And uh, anyways, I still think the double bottom is in play as long as we break this neckline. Uh, this is, you know, a little bit similar to Bitcoin. So we need to break about 33 and a half cents here. And uh, then you're gonna have a target which it should be from the top of this, you know, neckline here down to the bottom right here. Uh, so let's move this and let's just say we broke out today. And uh, yeah, let's put this a little bit higher. So the target for portal would be about 44, 45 cents here uh, if it were to break out today. And we do see a massive candle. Now, this could happen, actually. Uh, because as we know, the FOMC meeting is today, and if we take a look at that, you do have 65% in favor of a 50, you know, point uh, cut here, and 35% uh, for a quarter point. Now, don't be surprised if we only get a quarter point today. Um, I still believe we may get that. Uh, I've been saying that every video for, I don't know, a month maybe. So anyways, don't get your hopes up too high. Uh, if we take a look at the economic calendar today, there is European Union CPI uh, this morning, uh, European time where I am at at the moment. And uh, we do have some small economic data, basically building permits, housing starts, things like this before the FOMC uh, rate decision and conference today. So the conference will be 30 minutes after the rate decision. Now here on investing.com, it still says 5.25. So not sure why they haven't lowered that, considering that the you know CME group uh, says that you know 65% is in favor of a 50-point basis cut. So we'll see, guys. Just don't get your hopes up too much. Uh, Bitcoin, on the other hand, did have a nice daily candle yesterday. We did actually manage to close above 60.2. So that is good to see. We have retested that today. If I zoom in, guys, you will see that. Uh, actually, you can see it with this wick over here. Um, but yeah, we have retested that. Uh, but we're kind of getting an indecisive candle right now, which is not a good thing to see. But I think we're going to see this move up later today. Um, now, like I said, we do have a, a double bottom structure here. Um, so you can see that these two lows are pretty much equal. And uh, I still think that this double bottom is in play. You know, we haven't made a, a lower low here with any of these candles. So that means this is still in play. Now, the target will be up here at about seventy four and a half, seventy five thousand dollars, guys. Uh, but we do need to break the resistance here at about sixty six thousand dollars. So that could come today. Uh, who knows? With this FOMC meeting, this candle could go sky high, guys. But we do have several resistances before we get there so i don't think we're going to power through you know what is this like six resistances plus this resistance here so that's seven resistances all at one time guys um but we could get a nice candle today and and maybe tomorrow or uh friday uh work on breaking this trend line you know once and for all so as you know this trend line has held us down for months if i zoom out you will see it even better we hit the all-time high in March, then we hit this in April, we hit it in June, we hit it in July. Um, actually, sorry, this is June, this is July. So yeah, this this was March, okay, April, May, June, July. Uh, we got close in August. Uh, we didn't quite make it. We were, I think, about two, two and a half thousand dollars short here. Um, so anyways, let's take a look here at Fear and Greed. 
Uh, fear and greed index, basically, like I said, guys, it, yesterday I said it's probably going to fall between 40 and 50 uh, today because of this nice, you know, green candle yesterday. Now breaking above 60,000 uh, pushed us to 45, still in fear. Uh, but yesterday we were 33, so it's a little bit better, guys. Now, if we take a quick look at the crypto bubbles, some things have cooled off since last night. Uh, but I wouldn't worry, guys. I think these things are going to start heating up again later today uh, after this FOMC meeting and this decision. So anyways, guys, you can take a look at this yourself. But still, a lot of good projects are in big pluses. You know, IMX, uh, Beam, Gala, Phantom, Injective, uh, Atom. You know, a lot of these are great projects uh, in the top 100. Not everything, though, of course. But uh, anyways, guys, that's all I got for you pretty much with Portal. Uh, keep in mind, this is a newer coin, this, you know, cycle. So we still have yet to see what it can do. Uh, this is a coin that I did sell after the launch pool, I think, over $4, guys. So that's why I just bought it back maybe, I think, about two months ago, around $0.40. Cents. So I bought it 10 times lower. Uh, I figured that was the bottom. But, you know, we'll see, guys. I guess not. Uh, anyways, if you like this video, like, subscribe, activate the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.